Hey everyone, Mitch Palmer here with Sony Pro. Today we're going to be looking at the web UI for Sony SRG PTZ cameras. We'll walk you through some of the features and functions that fall under the live and view tabs of the web UI. Without further ado, here's Karim. Hi, my name is Karim Springer, sales support engineer based here in New Jersey. And today I'm going to show you how to access the web UI of a Sony SRG PTZ camera. The first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you place both your PTZ camera and your laptop on the same network. Once you place both items on the same network, you would then enter in the IP address of your Sony PTZ camera into a Chrome web browser. I just have the tab saved here, so I'm just going to actually access it. Once it gets into the web UI, it's going to prompt you for a username and password. Because I have this saved, there's no need to re-enter that information. But the first two things you'll see here in the web UI is the Live tab and the Settings tab. Under the Live tab, you have information, which is a timestamp information for your video stream view, which allows you to adjust the preview window of the web UI. Camera, which allows for the electronic pan tilt zoom movement of your PTZ camera, and the ability of recalling and saving preset positions. Under the Settings tab, you have system, which is a lot of general information of the PTZ camera. Video, which allows for basically just a preview window and information of your PTZ camera. Audio, which allows you to select either line input or a mic in for your PTZ camera. Network, basically is general information of the IP address of your network camera. Security for you could totally encrypt the stream or lock down the camera. Pan tilt zoom functions, which allows you to adjust those movements. And finally, streaming, which allows you to send out the two video streams or one video stream via multicast or unicast. And that's how you set up the web UI of your Sony SRG PTZ camera. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell below to stay up to date on all of the latest tutorials and tips and tricks from Sony. We'll see you in the next one.